Today we got something very special in it. We got a brand new bike. We got a bomb boat out. Plus, hella new parts. Look at all these parts. Top pack battery, power driver, wiring harness, and the bike. So let's get straight into opening this up. First, let's open up the bike itself. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at all this. Oh. <laughs> now let's try to get this little box out. Out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know, I'm just gonna peel all this out. Here's the tire. We could probably get that out. Try not to pop the tire or anything. And there we go. Whoa. Oh yeah. Look at these. Got some beautiful forks in here. Oh yeah. This little box. Ooh, okay. Extra chain, axle, tools, turrets, boy pad, plate, plastics, instructions, tools, and zip ties. Let's see here. Why is it just... Oh, come on. Oof, that is tight. All right, I'm tipping this baby over. There we go. Now we should be able to lift this hole. Oh, ooh. Oh, it's tight in there. Yeah, I just stripped the wrench. Okay, we're gonna have to go get another tool for that. I don't know what size it is, so I'm just gonna take the whole thing. Oh no. Oh no. Stripping the bolt. Oh, and that part's broken. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take the whole handlebar mount with me. There we go. Everything except for this handlebar mount. Ugh, it's just stripping. Oh no. I ended up having to use an impact to get this out. It was super tight, but let's continue. Oh, this thing's gonna be so comfortable. Look at that. Let's get the bars off. Can't really mount the bars right now because I'm missing the mount. You can see what they did here. Put all the parts over the plastics. Now why would you do that, bomb moto? There's the other mounts. Probably in this box of goodies. Let's get this together. Let's put this on. Sloop. There we go. Okay. Put this on. There we go. Boom, moto. Wish it was a little tighter, but oh well. Oh yeah. Okay. Now that we got this out, let's mount this all back up. It's just should just slide right on in. There we go. All right, so now let's slide the second fork in. Oh, that one went in way nicely. I'm gonna have to go through and tighten all these bolts. Ooh, brake cable's already routed. Oh, wait. Wait, no, it isn't. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. I gotta take this fork out. I can't have the brake going like that. I got the brake cable going through the fork, and the brake's gotta go on this side. There we go. I gotta retighten this all. Alright, now let's put this front wheel on. 
I'm doing this with no instructions, I just realized. Okay, spacers in. Put the wheel up. And through. Come on, find the hole. There we go. Perfect. Now we just gotta tighten this way down. Let's get that nice and tight. Shock just went into the tire. That's what that sound was. Wow, yeah, that is not tight. There we go. Okay. Now we gotta put the plate on. But there we go, we got everything together. Front fork is on, front wheel is on, front brake is on. Feels pretty good, these brakes. Fender, shock is in, chain is on. I think this thing's pretty mint. Honestly, I can just about flat foot this. It's pretty mint. We got the key ignition here. Got the bike together, made some food. Well, my mother made some food, thank you very much. Now, we have to move on to the parts. We have a hot packs, 72 volt, 28 amp hour battery. For a driver. 72450 and a harness kit from EMF. Huge shout out to them. They sent this out for the build. So yeah, definitely go check out EMF, electricmotivefamily.com. All right, so we got our order from EMF and some grips. So let's throw the whole bar setup on. Honestly, super nice stuff from EMF. Definitely go check them out. Beautiful Suron throttle and a whole wiring harness. So yeah, let's throw that on. All right, so now we gotta throw the throttle and grips on. We gotta loosen these screws in the throttle to let it slip on. And so we gotta loosen these. There we go. Now this thing should slip on. Oh, beautiful. I gotta take all this stuff. I gotta get all the plastic off, but now let's throw the last grip on. Right now we gotta open up this side panel, as you can see, to put all these electronics in and start poking around in this honker. Finally got the side cover off. That took forever. I just couldn't figure out how to get it off. We got XT60 charging, big old MY1020. Uh, battery straps included. All of our wiring. So let's see if we can get this all in. Okay, so we have one problem. This is my hot pads 28 amp hour battery. Does not fit. It's not gonna fit up right. That's the problem. What we can do is, is if we just put it in like that. We can put it in like that. Like 99% of the way in. Maybe we can work it out. We'll see. So we're getting this in. This is not going well. I do not got enough space. I see why it's a thousand dollars, but right now we're trying to put this together. It is not fitting mainly because I bought a different size battery. Not the best idea looking back, but hopefully we can get it together. Okay, we got everything in. It is not pretty. We had to bend these mounts up, take all the plastics off. Batteries in, one strap, we're gonna strap down more, but this is all like, yeah, that was such a tight fit. Had to unscrew that bolt a little. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that, but let's wire it. I'm gonna interrupt you right there. Here are two throttles I got from thethrottleshop.com. They sent these out for me to review. One is a normal throttle with a voltage display and key, all plug and play for four driver, Vevor, and a couple other bikes. And they sent out a beautiful Suron throttle. This Suron throttle feels super good and is honestly very fairly priced. Both of these are honestly very fairly priced. Super beautiful Suron throttle. You have so much control with these. Once you get one, you'll never go back. And this one's super nice too. Pretty good design. Uh, you got nice key and voltmeter and throttle all in one. It's full plug and play as you can see. You just plug it in and then this goes to your key and your power. They make kits for a Vevor, for a driver, Tudio, all that stuff. So definitely go check them out. So yeah, definitely check them out. I actually personally run a Suron throttle on this bike and my other bike. So yeah, definitely I run them all. So yeah, definitely go check them out. Okay, I just got back from riding pit bikes with my friend for like an hour. Let's connect these phase wires and then get the controller jammed in there. Okay, there we go, got the blue. Green goes in. Okay, let's see here. Okay, now here's the EMF part. Just gotta connect up this wiring harness with the key. 
Okay, let's plug the battery in. I think I got this all connected right. <laughs> okay, I did some self-diagnosis and I ended up, I plugged this wire into the completely wrong port. So that's why it shorted it out. I plugged it into the wrong port. That is my fault. That was very scary because I, you know, it's very expensive parts. So that was completely my fault. I should have followed the damn diagram instead of just plugging it in. I don't, okay, but it, it works. God, I'm so scared to plug it in. I'm just not even gonna plug it in fully, but it, it turns on. Let's put this all back in the bike, I guess. Okay, moment of truth here. Let's just very gently Okay. Yes. Now I have to go grab my phone and program the controller. Okay. This thing is very annoying right now, but I got it connected to here. So now we got to do the auto learn process. Yeah, you're supposed to do this with no chain. So. Oh, oh. What the? hell happened? What the hell happened? I'm gonna go back over all my connections. What the heck? All right, I'm gonna lock in. Okay. This thing is very rough. Holy, let's try to tuck some of these wires in. I just did a couple pulls, as you saw, and I did a couple off camera, to be honest. Okay, this thing's fine. This thing is insane. One thing is making a weird tick. So I don't know if the chain's skipping or something. Dude, it feels like an RTR. It has more power. It has more power than an RTR. Dude, it feels faster. I don't know if it's lighter or what. I kind of got used to it, so I can kind of like, but like, <laughs> holy, oh my God. Oh my God. Holy, this is on no tune, by the way. This is on complete auto tune, complete auto tune. I'm gonna do one pull down the road. Okay, I have this thing tuned to the recommended settings, like below the recommended settings. And I'm on auto tune, so not a good tune, but holy. Let's see how fast that was. 41, ooh, yeah, this thing needs tuned bad. Okay, this is day four of having this bike. I've got it fixed. Chain is good, chain is good and adjusted now. Power is good. I can still turn up the power a bit more if I want, but let's go do a little rip. Let's turn up the power a little. Uh, let's crank, let's add another 15 amps. There's another 15 amps to our power. Let's go take a little rip. The chain, the chain, upgrade it. Upgrade it from the factory. This is stock chain. It took me like an hour to get it all adjusted right. It kept falling off all that and it's kind of too tight to keep it i have it too tight just to keep it on so yeah chain is cooked upgrade to like 420. Easy 60. like this thing is fast like look at this See how fast that was right there. Like this thing gets up. That was 54 right there. This thing does a comfortable like 54, 55 miles an hour. Super nice speed. 
I am pushing this motor. I'm running 150 amps right now compared to the suggested 70 amps, but it's taking it fine. I am only about 120 pounds though, so, you know, I'm not that heavy. So if you're a heavier person, you probably can't run like 150 amps. You could probably run like 100 without overheating because this is just an MY1020 motor. But it does rip, like I just pour that all off. And you're going like 30 and you can just pop it up. Going like 40, you can almost pop it up. Another thing is the suspension. Suspension's honestly pretty soft from the factory. Pretty soft suspension, but it is fully adjustable, so yeah. But honestly, I think the suspension's like perfect for me. Like this suspension for me, I'm about 120 pounds. It's a little soft, but like it's pretty nice. But as you saw there, I just lost my chain. It does have chain issues. This thing definitely has chain issues. I had to get it aligned and it's much better now. It barely falls off. But yeah, chain issues is the main thing on this. But once you get it adjusted, it's all right. Oh no, yeah, there it goes. I just blew me chain. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, as I was saying about chain issues. So that's it for today with the chain issues. I did end up getting like a heavy duty chain and I haven't had a problem since. Got it together and all that. But my other problem is I looped this. So now the seat's all like that. I messed up my ankle really bad. And yeah, I, I crashed really hard. But subscribe, I'm getting super close to 4,000. And yeah.